Hey guys, it's Ty from Be Mine with Style, and I thought I would share our souvenir haul from our Disney World holiday vacation that we just got back from. And I have a trip recap, which I will put down below, and I'll do a couple reviews and a couple specific parts. But today I wanted to share what we bought on the trip. So if you've watched our souvenir hauls before, you know that we don't buy a ton of stuff when we're on the trips, but I have ordered some more stuff on the Parks app after I got home. I'm a big fan of doing that. So I'll share that in a Vlogmas Day in the Life video when it arrives. But these are the things that we actually got in the park. And definitely I would say on this trip, these babies, these were the hit for the trip for sure. So both the kids love these. And like every store we were in, they loved all the different versions of them. So the first night we were in the parks, I believe at Animal Kingdom, this was one of their first souvenirs that they got. And Bella picked this little tiger, which she calls Tiggy. And it's a little baby tiger and they come with a blanket wrapped around them. And this blanket is a leaf. And it's just really cute. It's, you know, they use it just like as a little stuffed animal person. Natalie picked up Ariel, baby Ariel, and she's got a blanket. She's got her little fins. Her blanket used to have flounder on it. Natalie pulled that off like the first day, so flounder's swimming around in her room somewhere right now. But these babies were the hit for the trip, and pretty much they have the whole series on their wish list. So that was the first souvenir that the girls got. And then later on on the trip, on the last day actually, when we were at Hollywood Studios, both girls got to ride Star Tours. Natalie just made the cutoff for the height. So it's kind of a fun thing. My husband's very into Star Wars. The girls made these little droids in the Make a Droid Center. And Natalie calls hers R2-D2, and she made it look like R2-D2 with a Christmas hat. And Bella called hers A56A. She made up her name and he's got a little Fiesta hat on and those are the ones that they chose. So it was really cool, I showed it in the video. They have all the different pieces and they put it together and then they were two for one price. So we got the two droids and the girls were able to put the stickers on and write their names on there. And they're a really cute toy and both the kids really, really like them. So I'm glad that we got those on the last day. And also towards the middle of the trip, we got autograph books. So a couple people asked, did you not bring your books that we've used in previous trips? And we did not. So we used to use like those encyclopedias that were about this big. And we haven't used in the past couple trips because the new carry-on bags that I got for the girls are smaller. So the encyclopedias actually don't fit in there. And I don't regret bringing them on the one trip, but now that we have brought them and got kind of the main bulk of the character signatures, the girls are still actually really into getting signatures, which I didn't know that they were going to be on this trip, obviously, because I was not prepared. So one of the days after they'd asked a number of times at the meet and greets about signatures and we literally had gotten like makeshift papers like this is the thank you from Tusker House for coming to Tusker House we had blue sign on that and then we also had a little play pack that they were using for entertainment and we had Lilo and Stitch sign in their play pack we have no cards that has Cinderella and Elena signed on them. So we had all this makeshift stuff that we were having characters sign. My husband's finally said, enough. They're obviously very into the signatures this time. We're gonna get a little autograph book that both the girls can bring with them and get autographs in them and then, you know, they can get whatever autographs they want and it's smaller so it's easy to travel with. So we will go ahead and bring these with us next time. This one is Natalie's. And then this one is Isabella's. Isabella actually, after the night that we got it, she didn't end up getting any more signatures, but we're gonna bring it back on our next trip and they can use those and get some more autographs. And Natalie already has a plethora of signatures in her book and then also these, which I'm gonna have to glue into the book, I guess. So that is that. And we also got these at Minnie's Holiday Dine. They, the characters were not actually signing, but they gave you these little autograph cards that had all the signatures on them. I thought this was really cute. Um, me personally, I like this, but I'm not a kid, so um, I think the kids like both. But they also got these at Holiday Dine, Minnie's Holiday Dine at Hollywood and Vine the last night at Hollywood Studios. The kids got to make their own wreaths, and this was a great activity to kind of keep them entertained while we were sitting there, not waiting on food because it's a buffet, but waiting for the characters to come around. So that's pretty much everything that the kids got. And then for myself, I was gonna get a Christmas Dooney and Burke bag, but they were only at Disney Springs and we did not have enough time to get over there, over there that day. And they sold out like super quickly, off the app, off, you know, at the parks, they sold out really quickly. So I didn't end up getting one of those and I haven't at this point gotten them. I think I'm just gonna 
hold off and get something I can use year round. But it was my original tent when I went down there to get the Christmas Dooney and Burke. But instead, I got this little Christmas Alex and Ani bracelet. And it's the Mickey with the Joy. He's got the little Santa hat on it. So we'll see if my camera will focus. But there's Mickey, he's so cute. So I love these Alex and Ani bracelets. You guys know that I wear these a ton. So that's why I got that. I typically tend to get Alex and Ani on each trip. And I also got this shirt, which you guys can see me wearing on the second party day. It is it's caught on my shirt, but it is Minnie's Very Merry Christmas. It's the commemorative shirt from the Christmas party. I got it in short sleeve because I'm kind of hot nature, but they also have it in long sleeve as well. So I got one of those so that way I would have a commemorative shirt and it was one of the things I planned on getting as well. So I honestly, oh the girls actually got holiday sweatshirts too. So these were actually in the closet and I would forgotten already. So I got the girls these matching holiday sweatshirts which were really functional because one of the nights it got a little chilly and the kids were chilly and I had left their sweatshirts back at the hotel room. So I got these but I actually was already planning on getting them either a shirt or a sweatshirt so it worked out great. These are super cute because they have the built-in skirt on the bottom and then there's mini on the front and then there's the holiday brand on the back. So I really like these. They've got the hood and they were nice and warm. So the girls got these in their respective sizes. We got an extra small and a small. So that was that. And these were not party specific merchandise. These were just in the holiday merchandise. So you could get these even if you didn't go to the, hol the uh, Christmas party. This was a Christmas party specific, so you had to go to the Christmas party to get this shirt. But these were just holiday merchandise, so you could get these. I think these are even on the Parks app too. So we thought that these were really super cute and they can wear these for the holiday time here at home. So those were all of the items that we got on our trip. We don't buy a ton, like I said, when we're on our trip. Oh, and how could I forget the infamous towel? So we did end up getting a towel as a souvenir. We got it at Animal Kingdom the day that we got soaked and my husband and Bella were freezing. I thought this one was really cute because it's got Safari Mickey, Safari Minnie, and the other characters on there. So we did end up with a souvenir towel that day because they were all super cold and wanted to get dried off. So we got a towel and it helped a little bit. The kids did not end up changing clothes. A couple of people asked. They just put their sweatshirt on and once they toweled off and put their sweatshirts on I mean it was like 70 degrees outside so it was nice but they were just cold from getting drenched while I'm Cali River Rapids so this souvenir towel helped with that also both the girls did a bunch of press pennies on this trip and this is actually Isabella's book I was going to get Natalie one of these books I looked but I couldn't find them anywhere so I'm just gonna order another one off of eBay that's where I got this one too so that way Natalie can get one of these books too but this one's Bella she made a couple quarters they got one at Ohana um, to the night that they went to Lilo's Playhouse this has got Lilo and Stitch on it and then they made a number of ones and attractions a couple of these are from our first trip but then they were very into the pennies so we will definitely continue to make the pennies and they can add to their collection as they go along they got some from Animal Kingdom, Frozen there's some Epcot ones, Cinderella, the Prince, Bella was very smitten with him. <laughs> that one was funny. So anyhow, they're adding to their press coin collection. Then we did a little bit of pin trading, but the kids, they pin traded the first couple days and then we kind of just forgot about it, to be honest. I mean, they had their lanyards with them, but there's so much to do there. I mean, you get easily distracted. So we also had the Sorcerers and Magic Kingdom cards with us this trip and I had planned on two things trying out the game which I never got around to and I meant to get the party specific card and I never made it over to City Hall to get that either. So eventually on some trip we will play Sorcerers of Magic Kingdom. We have like a full card set and we get cards every single time we're there but we just never managed to actually play the game. So those were our souvenirs from the trip. Let me know what your favorite souvenir was. Thanks for watching today and have a great day.